Another cool feature in Photoshop layer styles is the ability to add an inner and outer glow to your layers. So we have our bevel and emboss effect here from the prior video, and I've sort of gone back to a more standard look with a black uh, shadow and a white highlight. And from this point, I'll go to the pop-up menu and I'll choose inner glow. Now what inner glow does, if I go ahead and bump out the size as our usual technique for seeing what something does, you can see that it's basically adding a simulated glow inside the boundary of the letters. So from this point, we can sort of pick an intermediate setting and then go to the top of the screen here and work our way down. So the blend mode basically takes a look at the color, which in this case is yellow. And again, we can click on the color well and uh, choose any color we want for that. And it will basically blend it together with the color of the lettering. So any of the options here in this lighten group and any of the options here in this overlay group are ones that you want to experiment with and see which look turns out the best. So if I go ahead and choose vivid light for this example, you can see we get sort of a really intense effect, but it's not quite reaching all the different edges of the letter. So let's go down to the elements section. What we're going to do here in the technique menu is to choose precise. And what this does is it allows the glow to more precisely follow the shape of the letters. So particularly when you use text or vector shapes, precise might be the better option for you. We're going to leave the source set to edge when you turn it to center. Basically, the entire face of the lettering in this case will have the glow. So we want to keep this to the edge. And now we're going to take a look again at the size setting and then the choke setting. We'll basically determine how sharp of a contrast there is between the areas that have a glow and no glow. So in other words, it sort of manages that transition between where the effect is and isn't. So I'll go ahead and boost up the choke value quite a bit here and then just back off until things look about where I want them. And maybe I'll work with the size again here and just see what I can do. And that looks pretty good. So keep in mind when we create this inner glow, we're also going to create an outer glow in just a moment. So we want the two to kind of match up and create an interesting look. So it's not necessary in that case to make the inner glow sort of overwhelming and overpowering in terms of the effect that it has. We also have a quality option here with more curves and contours. And as we saw with the bevel and emboss, these will basically create different types of glow effects, not just a standard glow around the edge, but it might create lines of glow and other things that are pretty cool, but in this case don't really suit the purposes of this example. I'm just going to click this curved contour right here and again, I'll choose anti-alias. And now we're gonna to switch to the outer glow mode. And as I do that, I want you to pay attention to all the controls that are here. So I'm gonna click outer glow. And you'll notice, other than the source in the elements area, all of these controls are exactly the same for the outer glow as they were for the inner glow. So here again, we're gonna bump out the size. And you can see now the glow is outside the boundary of the letters. And you can see now how things are gonna combine to create an interesting effect. So again, I'll go and choose some different blend modes. Let's try vivid light, that's gonna to be too harsh. Linear light, pin light, well, that's kind of interesting. Maybe I'll stick with that and we'll move the opacity here to see what kind of glow we want. Maybe something a little bit less, so it looks a bit more realistic as if there's a light bulb inside the lettering there maybe. So here again, we have the technique option, but in this case, because we want sort of a general diffuse glow, we're not going to use the precise option because when we do that, you can see the effect creates an outer glow that has boundaries instead of having it be a single diffuse glow. So in this particular case, it makes more sense to leave this set to soft. And here again, we can work with the spread to see what kind of an impact we can get. And you can see it kind of goes beyond the boundaries of the letter in this case, and it starts to look more like a graphical element instead of a glow. So I'm gonna pull this spread way back to where, pretty much to where it was before. And uh, let's, again, we'll move the size just a little bit there. And again, we can check the contour and 
if we wanted to create special effects, we could again do this with the contour, but that's not the purpose here. We wanna just create a nice uh, soft all around glow. So we'll use this uh, curved preset. Let's just double check that versus the straight edge. And that's all right. So we'll click anti-aliased. And from this point, I think we've got our glow all set. So from here, we can go to the OK button and click that to add both the inner and outer glow to our layer effects.